I've got the brand new World's Finest The Collection Mystery Box. This is obviously Batman themed. Okay, we all love Batman, right? And uh, World's Finest The Collection is pretty much a DC themed mystery box. That's every quarter. And you can subscribe monthly, annually, and so on. I got a direct link down below. I have an affiliate link if you would like to check out this subscription box directly. And it's actually, it's made by like the umbrella company of Culture Fly. So I'll make sure I have like a, a link for this box and a link for Culture Fly where they've got all kinds of boxes. So a little bit about this box. This is $48.99 a month plus shipping. So it's about 50 bucks plus shipping if you do monthly. Annual plan, $44 a box plus shipping. So you can say six bucks a box, which over four boxes, you know, that's $24. So you can do a monthly or an annual plan. So that's not bad. And then of course you get to select a t-shirt size. And uh, yeah, and they actually have right now, I'm looking at it, they actually have the Superman box is on sale right now on the website so it must be this batman box is sold out but you can get the superman box for the next quarter and i love superman so that's going to be a fantastic box like i love batman i love superman i'm just a big kid you know what i'm saying but a lot of us out here are just big kids at heart so here we go let's get into this thing let's see what is in this i'm kind of can't wait to see what's in it Break that factory seal off. Let it breathe. So we got, here's the whole box. We got the Batman 80 year on the box. I think it's is it upside down. Nope, yep, upside down. I got your size 3XL t-shirt box. Here we go. Batman. What's the box would look like? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so now, shut it back up. No peeking. We'll do this mystery box style, one thing at a time. The last box that they did was a fantastic box. So this one, I know it's going to be a good box no matter what. This this thing's just full of collectibles. The last one was ultra fun that that I did. I'm actually I'm still trying to find older boxes like the Flash box, and uh, there's boxes before that one. Like I'm still trying to find those. Uh, I don't know where I can buy them at, but I'm sure they're out there somewhere. First item. What we get? Oh, cool. Detective Comics number 27. Looks like we got a thing of postcards. Cool, okay. Number 27. Number 38. Batman number 50. Batman number 37. Detective Comics number 31. Detective Comics uh, number... I don't see it. But yeah, the first appearance of Batman, if I remember correctly, actually is Detective Comics number 27 is the first appearance of Batman in a comic book. So that's kind of neat. I mean, this isn't like anything super expensive, but as a collector of Batman, these are kind of neat. I like them. I know some people might not like them because not everything in every box will be liked by everybody. Certain items and boxes, you know, some people probably won't like them, but that's okay. Next item. We got like a, we got several boxes in here. Oh, is this a cheat sheet? Yeah, okay, this is a cheat sheet. We do not want to look at the back side of that because that'll, that'll tell us what's all in this box. We have a tin. Oh, that's a cool box. You've got the Batarang on it. No way. We've got batter. The back says it Batarang Magnets. Oh, that's cool. You can actually take them apart, use them as magnets. <laughs> that's ultra cool. You got two in there, two Batarang Magnets. But honestly, I'm not going to use these usually. I'm just going to leave these in this metal tin because that metal tin itself is a really cool collectible. So you got two Batarang magnets in this really cool metal collectible tin. Okay, that's, I like it. That thing's neat. I like it. That's like, you know, it's geeky and it's fun. I like it. Here we go. Here's, it feels like a pin. What is it? 
Oh, cool. We got Batman number one comic pin. Oh, that's a cool. I don't really, I'm not a collector of pins, but this one I actually will be keeping. I will be keeping that one now. That one's really cool. Batman number one, whenever he finally got his own comic book outside of Detective Comics. Batman number one. Fun little fact. I was at a Comic Con a few months ago and there was a dealer there that had Batman number one. It was a high grade. It was like a 9.4, 9.6. It was like extremely high grade for this age comic. They were asking, oh, I was like 15 grand for it, 15, 20 thousand dollars. And I held it for like a minute and, you know. Cool comic, but very, in, in a high grade, super expensive. Okay, what's this? We got another thing. We got a little keychain or something. Do not, okay, it says hand wash only. Do not microwave. Is it like a little flask or something? Yeah, it is. It's a little flask. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So it's actually, it's like a little, it's, it's a keychain flask. So uh, you could put in a little shot of water in this thing and carry it on your keychain. So if you get thirsty, you need a little water in your life. Uh, you could take a little uh, shot of water. <laughs> That's kind of an interesting little thing. Yeah, I'm actually not going to use this. I'm just going to put this up with the rest of my collectibles. Someday I'll probably show like all my collectibles or some of them. But I'm going to put this with all my collectibles. A little trinket, but I kind of like it. Let's do this t-shirt. I feel it right here. T. There's some uh, 3D glasses with the t-shirt. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. And I'll show you first. Is it cool? Oh, okay. It's different. So, okay, I do like the graphics on it. The graphics are neat. Three dimension, 3D Batman, amazing and 3D graphic action. And it obviously is new with tags. Brand new. Make sure, yep, got your man size 3XL on there. Three dimension or baby gorilla size three XL. Let's see this thing with these glasses on. It is actually is. It looks kind of cool. Oh, I think my my head's too big for these glasses. There we go. What's it look like? Oh, okay. With 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 the glasses on, this thing is really cool. The Batman jumps off off the shirt. Batman and Robin jump off the shirt. Man, this. With these glasses on, your whole world changes around you. But yeah, with the glasses on, the shirt's actually really, really cool. Of course, people aren't going to walk around wearing glasses to look at this t-shirt. But uh, yeah, I do like this t-shirt. Um, like Honestly, straight opinion, I, I would rather prefer this not to be like a 3D kind of a picture. I would prefer this to be a solid picture. I get what they were doing here, though. It's it's still neat. I still like the shirt. I'm still going to wear this shirt a lot. But, uh, yeah, it's still cool. But I would actually probably would have preferred for it not to be in that 3D kind of look to it. But I still like it. I still like it. I like it. Next item. Okay, we've got... Let's do one of these boxes. Let's see. Something in... Some styrofoam. Oh! That is cool. We got the original Batman look. When his ears were different back then, they were shorter, more stubby, and like pointed out more to, to the sides. This is the 1939 Batman from the De Detective Comics. I'm not going to use this mug. I'm just going to put this thing on display. And, okay, that's really cool. I like it. That's neat. That's neat. I like it. I mean, so far, there's really been nothing in this box that I did not like. I mean, my honest opinion. I mean, if you're a fan of Batman, there's really nothing in this box for you to dislike, so far at least. Let's see, we've got... Let me peek. We've got a few things left still. Not done yet. Next item. What is this? Gotham City Police Department Notepad. Okay, we got a notepad. So this is actually right now, this is my least favorite item in this box is a notepad. 
Yeah, you know, it's it's a neat, it's neat little throw-in item, I guess. But I mean, I honestly won't ever use this. Uh, but you know, it's okay. Not my favorite thing, but that's okay. You won't like everything in every single box. Okay, we've got a couple things left. Let me just pull. So here's the inside of the box. We have like an art print. We got a little gel pad. Box is ultra cool too. Okay, so we got an art print. A then, oh, that's really cool art print. I like that. Different versions of Batman on this art print. That's neat. I like it. And last item. Oh, that's cool. We got a Batman vinyl figure. Okay, this is actually in a sealed package. I'm not going to open this up because I'm actually going to keep this in the box and display it in, in the box because I'm kind of like an in-box kind of collector of collectibles. I prefer to keep them in boxes because to me, the package itself is half of the collectible, you know. But we got a really cool Batman vinyl figure. Give you that 360 view. Culture Fly exclusive. World's Finest exclusive. I like it. It's one of those really cool Batman poses. So that is this quarter's Batman box. So if you just bought monthly for $48, let's see some value here. Honestly, this t-shirt, if you, bought, if you bought, bought this in stores, that's $25, okay? This collectible, this thing has weight to it. Honestly, this thing, it's ultra cool. This is probably easily worth 25 bucks. Not joking. T-shirt and this is probably good at 50 bucks. Though those two things alone pay for the entire value of the box. And then you could say, let's say the notepad, the art print, and even you even throw this, you know, note notepad, art print, the pen, the little keychain flask, which I think is the funniest thing in this box. Five bucks, ten bucks, twenty. These these things are probably about twenty-five dollars. So now we're looking at about seventy-five bucks. Then you have really cool Batman 80th Anniversary Batarang Magnets. These are ultra, I'm keeping these. That's probably good, 20 bucks. The note cards, five. Let's see right there, it's probably about 125. And then we have this really cool Batman 1939 mug. Mug's like what, 15 bucks? So you can honestly say, even to lowball this, this might be worth between 125 and 150 of value. That's my honest assessment of the value of this box, between 125 and 150. So this is upwards of three times your money back in value and really cool collectibles, t-shirts. Yeah, so I'm very pleased with this box. I'm very happy with it. I mean, I got my t-shirt, I got my Vinyl Fear collectible. I got, I got a lot of collectibles. This is really, this was an ultra fun box. I really liked it. Of course, here's the cheat sheet. Tells everything about the box, but pretty much everything you know is self-explanatory what's in the box so this had a total of two four six seven eight this had a total of nine things in it how many boxes have nine things for 50 bucks not very many out there so like i said earlier there'll be a direct link down below if you want to check out this box make sure hit hit that link 50 bucks and then the next box the next one is superman coming out i'm gonna get that one i love superman so ultra fun so yeah this, this was a good box. Honest opinion, this was a fantastic box. So I'll see you next time. I'm out.